Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church here in Waterford, Michigan. Each Sunday morning, we have message notes that you can fill out in the blanks uh, provided. As we go through the message, uh, you can get uh, the cues for the different uh, words that you're supposed to fill in in the text, or you can write in the margins, whatever is helpful for you. There's five days of devotion material also offered here so that you can keep connected to the message and the scripture upon which the message is based uh, Monday through Friday. We do these video devotions. And we also have a Wednesday night study uh, that is all about the message on Sunday morning. Uh, there's a group of us who get together. We pray for our church. We pray for those in need. We pray for our world. And we have a good fellowship in terms of looking at the scriptures and examining them a little deeper and a little better uh, for our own um, uh, building up of our spiritual lives. So I want to invite you to... Uh, Call our church office, get on the the, uh, the invitation, the uh, Zoom link. We'll can, we can send that link to you uh, sometime between Monday and Tuesday, usually sometimes Wednesday. Uh, you'll get that uh, invitation. And then on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, we have that time of study. We've been talking about Jesus and the Psalms and how Jesus quoted the Psalms more than any other book in the Hebrew Scriptures. Our Old Testament. And I hope that everyone had a, a very fine experience this past Sunday with Palm Sunday, just yesterday. Uh, we had a great time here at Waterford Central United Methodist Church, and I hope that you will join us sometime during this week. We have special services for Monday, Thursday, two on Good Friday, and then two services on Easter Sunday morning. Lots of opportunity to commemorate and celebrate what Christ has done for us uh, through his life, his teachings, his healings, his miracles, his death, and his resurrection. Friends, I found it interesting as we read the Matthew passage this past week that people were welcoming Jesus into, into the holy city. They were uh, laying their cloaks on the ground. They were waving palm branches. They were saying, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Uh, they were celebrating who Jesus was as their long-awaited Messiah, the anointed one of God, which is also part of Jesus's quoting uh, the Psalms, is that he recognized that he was the cornerstone which the builders had rejected. Time and time again, he connected himself as the anointed one of of God. So it was interesting uh, that even though he had had three years of public ministry, he gained respect and appreciation from the masses while he sort of uh, garnered the, the fury and wrath of the religious, religious leaders of his day. And people were still asking, well, who is this guy? <laughs> for, for three years, he preached to multitudes, he healed the sick, he demonstrated his loving power through miracles. He, um, and all the time as he's going in on that uh, first Palm Sunday, people are saying, who is this? It was a great day. It was a great day to celebrate uh, this idea that Jesus was a king who was coming into the holy city of Jerusalem in peace. And people really wanted him to be their ruler. They were tired of the uh, the the, the uh, corrupt King Herod, they wanted uh, to see who uh, this uh, new leader was. They wanted to get a glimpse of him and uh, herald him into the holy city. So I wanted to say, though, it's a fair question to ask who Jesus is, because Jesus is is so much more than any one slice of scripture or any one interaction that we read about in God's word. Jesus is uh, everything in, in terms of a, the fulfillment of, think of it, thousands of years of waiting for the fulfillment of this messianic king who would bring peace, who would bring love, who would bring order and justice to the world. So Jesus, as he's going into Jerusalem. And people around are saying, who is this? That's the same question we are asking. 
who is Jesus? Who is Jesus to you? And how do the weeks, how do the events of this next week affect your belief and your faith in Jesus the Christ? Something for each of us to think about is who is this? Who is this person? Do we see him? Do you see him primarily as a healer? Do you see him as a great preacher? Do you see him as a prophet? Do you see him as a storyteller? There's so much at work in this one man who we knew as Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus who is the living son of God in the world during his time. And then after Jesus left, he sent us the gift of the Holy Spirit so that we could remember everything that Jesus said and did. In fact, Jesus is recorded in, in Luke as saying that everything in the laws of Moses, in the prophets, and in the Psalms must be fulfilled. And as we read about Jesus' identity, we should come up with some idea, at least. Each of us must come up with some idea as to just who is this Jesus in each of our lives. So that's just something I want you to think about this day. As we get into the scriptures for this week, I want you to think about who is Jesus to you? How would you answer that question? And how would you want to deepen that understanding of who Jesus is to you? Let's pray. Gracious God, we do thank you for this opportunity to come together, to uh, speak of Jesus, to wonder who he is in our lives, to uh, think about it deeply, and then come to a time of proclaiming who he is in our lives. We would ask that your blessing be upon us as we are in this process of learning and deepening our relationship with you through Christ our Lord. For it's in his name we pray and by the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey friends, I hope you have a great Monday. I hope you had a great Palm Sunday yesterday. And I hope you're looking forward to a fabulous Easter this next coming weekend. But before we get there, remember that we have a journey that involves a certain amount of darkness a certain amount of the fading loyalty of his disciples. And we must participate in that observation in order to truly embrace the blessing of Easter. So come on, keep with me during this week, week of Jesus' life, and let's see how it goes in terms of coming in and making that Easter morning, uh, celebrating of, of Jesus' resurrection all the more sweeter. You take care of yourselves and God bless.